Alright, welcome to another episode of Let's PvP Star Wars The Old Republic. I am Shameless. We are once again on our Arsenal Merc Isabel. And we're doing a Navarre Coast this time. And I like this spot when I'm doing a Navarre Coast. Because it pretty much allows you to reach into the bunker, break some line of sight. Seven artillery emplacement acquired. Targeting. Oh, I saw somebody cast on a heal. Somebody needs to kill her. And that's what you get for using heals in a war zone, people. Continue firing. That was kind of a waste. Should have went for that guy. Got some people over on uh, east. Seems like a good chance that they're going to be able to call out before something horrible happens. And these guys are zerging like lemmings, man. Goodbye. Eat some 5k. Man, they have got to try a different tactic soon. Come on, guys. You guys haven't even broken the threshold of mid. South, what have you. Again. <laughs> oh man, I sing along every time I hear that commercial. If you haven't seen it, it's some kind of car commercial. Um, I'm a huge fan of Rush. I know, but still, just fantastic. Yeah, man. This is just a shooting gallery in the definition of the term. <laughs> like, this is just bad. I don't know what they're doing. This is uh, really making me not look forward to doing Purges Daily next. Because if these are the people that I'm going to be teaming up with, oh man, is that going to make me cry. So make sure you turn in. Tune in. Make sure uh just used a word that doesn't actually exist. But uh tune in if you'd like to see a grown man cry on the next purge video. Because I'm sure I'll be very angry about the teams that I've been on all night. Or then again I could get lucky and maybe Zachariah and his group are still PvPing and I can get on to there. It's some people who actually know what they're doing. I don't hate the Republic. I just really wish... I mean, basic mechanics, guys. That's all I'm asking for. A basic understanding of how the war zone is played. It's great now. I'm chasing kills. It doesn't even bother me. I know they're not getting anywhere. They're not capping anything. In fact, most of them are running away to go hide at 50% because they are beaten down so badly already. And these are pugs. I don't. Let me let me double check. Group therapy, non-gilded for those three. Me. Yeah, we got four people in guilds. The rest of the guys, they're not even in a group. And yeah, we've already got some more headed that way. I don't really see a reason. Okay, 
Two healers. And there is no way it's four people coming in to east. No freaking way. Unless three of them have already died. <laughs> okay, well, my math isn't that, that great if you just noticed. It should be there. I've gotten fairly good at doing this. Where are killing people and I see a star because I mark all my healers with stars. And you know how much I like killing stars, everybody. And I'm pretty sure that was their last... I don't even know what to call that. It wasn't really an offensive. Because for it to be an offensive, something probably should have had to have died. And that's not how it worked at all. I've been on teams like this. Don't get me wrong. Boom! Oh yeah, I forgot. When they're in cover, they can't be interrupted. A really nice thing on snipers and gunslingers that most people who go up against them aren't aware of, and even I myself forget it quite often. Uh, they cannot be interrupted. When they are in cover, no sir. It doesn't matter how long that cast time is. You cannot interrupt it. Oh, and I missed the rocket punch. I love killing people with rocket punch. But, um, I would definitely say that this game here falls under the total decimation category. Oh, yeah. Domination is what I really meant to say. But decimation works, too. Check the thesaurus. <laughs> This is a this is a that's pretty much a flawless victory. I mean, they could not move. Like I said, barely any of them cross these sandbags, and when you have a team that can't get past these sandbags, you are going to lose mid, and you are never going to obtain it. So uh, we got 8% left on their bunker, and they're all just going to sit over there and lick their wounds. I know I would have been over there long ago had I been on that team. And yeah, they're all rushing off to try and go get that in the last few bits. I'm not going to. Like I said, I'm never a big fan of that. It's like, I I've been in that situation. And don't be a D-bag about it. Like, you won. You proved it. There's no reason to just go and slaughter a team that's vastly outgunned. And that's going to be it for this episode, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Man, wait, I didn't do as much damage as I thought I did. But I didn't die, so that's kind of fantastic. I guess I have the healer to thank for that. Thanks for tuning in.